Welcome back to the NBA on TNT. I am Lyndon Prosser, joined by Steph and Jake. Today we're going to be going over our contenders and pretenders for the next NBA season. Who are your contenders and pretenders? Uh, my pretender is um, the Never Nuggets. You know, they never get past the first round. Last time they almost got swept by the Warriors. I'm surprised they didn't get swept. But um, but other than that, I think my um, contender might be um, the Memphis Grizzlies, actually. I think they... um. Now that they have experience in the playoffs, last year I think that um, I think that uh, John Moran is going to be better. I think that Dylan Brooks might improve, and I think that they are a championship winner. Okay, what about you, say? Uh, so my so my contenders um, they're completely based off how free agency goes. For me, it would be the clip. One is the Clippers. There are also many talks of Kyrie talking about going to the Clippers, and if that does happen. That 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 backcourt with Kyrie, PG, and Kawhi, that would just be ins- an insane backcourt, insane insane backcourt, insane backcourt. And my other is the Mavericks. The Mavericks are getting of oh, having talks about signing Miles Bridges, Zach Levine, maybe even maybe even trade for James Harden. That would be great. And the co-star to pair with Luca, also like a mentor. And if you look, and we already saw how 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 close Luca Luca got just by himself. So if Luca gets that co-star like a Zach Levine or a Miles or even a Miles Bridges, that would be that would be great. And my pretenders are the Utah Jazz. Utah Jazz constantly get in the high seedings, one seeds, two seeds, and four seeds, and they constantly sell out. Constantly sell out when when the series that they're in should be four to five game series. Okay, my contender, I would have to say, is going to end up being the Miami Heat. I feel like they're close every year. I think that Jimmy Butler is just an absolute superstar, and I do think he is a little underrated in this league. I think that he is a great perimeter defender, a great interior defender, and I think that he can do everything on both sides of the ball. And I think that he might have what it takes next year to put everything together, especially uh, because it looks like P.J. Tucker is leaving and they might be able to pick up a couple guys in free agency. My pretender has to be the Phoenix Suns. I think that Devin Booker is way overhyped. And I think Chris Paul is a great point guard, and I think he's a great player, but I do not think that Devin Booker and Chris Paul are guys that can win a championship in today's NBA, at least. And so now we're going to take a look at our live studio audience for questions. Hey, uh, this is a question for Jake. You said the Denver Nuggets are contenders, but Jamal Murray's coming back and Jay's coming back. How do you think that affect their stats as contenders, and do you think that will just stay the same? I think it will stay the same. You know, Jamar, Jamar, Jamal Murray is um, a great player. But I think that there might be better competition in the Western Conference, and I don't think they could get the job done. You know, in the bubble, that didn't really count. Jamal Murray was great in the bubble, but like the bubble didn't really count in my eyes. So I don't really think that uh, it's going to change anything. Okay, and that's it for NBA on TNT. Thank you guys for tuning in.